We've got a very special announcement we need to make. No, we have a guest. Yes. To be introduced. Yes. In addition to the family. Oh. Yes. Oh. So while yes. we were busy reflecting, uh-huh. somebody else was busy doing other things yes. during the lockdown. What? I'm excited. This is like the biggest announcement we've made on the podcast, right? Since we said Henda. <laughs> no, we are here. Oh, we are back. <laughs> podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Hita! Hita, Marbini! Yabo, 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 yes! Yabo, yes! We are back, we are back! Oh, man! Who? Matt G? Yeah, no? It feels good to be back, man. I missed this, hey? Look Zoom is us. not the same. Look at us. Hmm? Are, you, are you happy, like Ika? Nah, I'm okay. Hey, welcome back, Len, by the way. Hey, Whoa. welcome back, Leonce. <laughs> it's been tough without you. No, you guys have been doing fine. Why? You've been doing fine. I, I know. It's been hard. No, not really. Yeah. Where have you been? What's been happening? I've been at home reflecting. Reflecting? Mm. Okay. So how are you coming out of this... I don't know. I'm not out yet, so I'll see how. It now that you're here, so okay. how yeah, are you feeling man, it's just, of the reflections? It's, it's it's been hard. I'm not going to lie. Uh, yeah, it's been hard. How are you gonna get a new lane I've, anytime no. soon? <laughs> really? <laughs> new level, new lane. <laughs> you just get to. It, you just get to grow as a person. Hmm. That's it. Okay. Yeah, you, 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 you determine, or you get to a point of realizing what's what's important and what's not. Yeah. Kind of vibe. And what have you learned from this lockdown? Yeah, that's my. Those are my learnings, man. They are for me to. <sighs> so what can you share? Yeah, yeah. I'm not sharing anything. Help us, help us grow. Not Tina, we're coming yeah. out the same. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing's changed. Nothing's changed. <laughs> so my, help us. My learnings and my reflections are not as solved. They're not there to be shared. Uh, yes. so. Puff and pasmos. Nah, 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 nah. You teach yourself. Mm. So, yeah. But it's been hard. I'm not going to lie. Yo. I don't think I'd survive prison. Oh, is it? Yes. Because this was like a mini prison setup. Yeah. I don't think I'll survive prison. Ever. But I think they have cigarettes in prison. It's not about cigarettes, dog. It's about being confined to certain areas at certain times. I mean, I think one of the biggest things for me was it's been two months and I haven't seen my mother. I haven't seen my gran. And there was like a little mini coronavirus scare with my uncle who was with my gran and whatnot. So... If anything had happened, God forbid, touch wood, thank God nothing happened. Mm. I was just going to go home for a funeral. Mm. Nakona is just going and then like, okay, you bury the person, just go back. You're mm. not even allowed to, to mourn properly as we know mourning to be. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, it's just been, it's just been crap. Uh, a lot of energy was drawn out of me and I'm slowly trying to regain it back. That's just been it. And what have you been doing to try to regain it back? <sighs> I've just been trying to see the positive out of all of this. Uh, there's not a lot, really. But, yeah, one day at a time, man. One day at a time. One day at a time. Mm. And you, Ghost Lady? Uh, I'll just say... Jeez, we're starting on a deep note, guys. Jeez. No. <laughs> you asked, Final prayers. You asked me. No, I was just being honest. No, it's dog. like a welcome back prayer. <laughs> we made it. We survived. <laughs> I want to thank God we're for... We're not done. <laughs> we're, still getting to the, we're still getting to the peak. If we thought peak was peak, we're not there yet. We're not there yet, yeah. But nonetheless, I just... Uh, I found out there's a lot of things that are just useless in life, you know. Maybe not as deep as Len. You know, there are things that you realize... Ah, there's a lot of things that we we used, but you've realized they have no use. Mm. You just you're at home. What are those things? What are you, what are you talking about? Cars. Okay, if I have to say, mention big things, cars, but yeah. to little stuff like 
who cares for underwear now? You know. <laughs> <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> are you yeah, on not naked? No, I'm not. <laughs> but let's at that at the end of the day. You're not if, naked commando, like yeah. without. <laughs> right now, do you have underwear on right now? <laughs> <laughs> Can I go back home? But Who like cares? That, no, guys, but I'm fully dressed. No, the aim is that I'm fully dressed. Underneath your underwear, you are naked. Yeah. Right? So so, so so it took lockdown for you to realize underwear. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's just things that are just unnecessary. Out there. Like, you're just like, you can actually, we are being sold these things that are like, they are just so useless. Yeah. No, underwear is, underwear is, I feel like it's, 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 it's necessary. For what? I could never, I could never, I could never walk out. See, there are two things that. Because it's been gr- drilled in your head. Nah, Already not... you are dressed. Who cares? No one sees it. It's you. No, it's there's... like you're dressing. You're, you put on underwear for yourself. Ah, ah, it's a level of comfortability. It also goes, it varies from person to person. Because that's what advertising did. It's like, it's okay, for you I'm, to feel okay, comfy okay, okay, tamo, and happy. Tamo para strepe, don't wear underwear. Ah, Let's no, see what happens. Not. But you see, not. you see, it's those kind of things. But I just feel it's comfortable. I, 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 I can't. There are two things that I can never leave the house without. Mm-hmm. It's underwear and not brushing my teeth. Mm-hmm. Everything else is just mandatory. It's like whatever. I do it. I don't do it. I don't really care. Can go a whole day without taking a shower, but brushing but my without teeth without a ciggy, you know. Ah, that's mand- That's it's either here or there. Mm-hmm. Kind of. What's thing. the longest you've gone without taking a shower <sighs> over this lockdown? A day and a half. That's just one day. <laughs> you have to put the half. <laughs> ah, the half counts. It counts. Because I was cognizant of the fact that it was a day and a half. Mm. And how long have you gone without underwear? <laughs> <laughs> Level four. <laughs> Level five. Four days. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyway, welcome to Ladies and Gentlemen Podcast and Chill. Go so ladies we're, here. So we're now you don't here. share. Yeah? Where now you don't share? I don't share what. Yeah, you, yeah. Where now? How? Have you noticed that whenever something deep, sort of like creeps up, he always checks with everybody, and when it's his turn, yeah, he's very good at maneuvering and taking an off ramp. Yeah, I got nothing deep to say. I like yeah, my underwear. Deep. Just, <laughs> I like my underwear. <laughs> What else but at the end of the day, you are naked underneath that underwear. Yeah. That's what the fact means. No matter how many layers you wear yeah. over, uh, you're still naked. For me, it's weird because I've been technically quarantining for a while. So this is, for me, it's just another day. What do you mean quarantining for a while? As in, I've been working from home. If I'm not here, I'm at home. Mm-hmm. But you've been going to like meetings and whatnot, meeting and people. Now the, and now the meetings are on Zoom. Going home, uh, going to see your son. Coming to bother me at my house for a bry. Um There's a lot of things that. Actually, you, you had a social life. You were partying. Things have changed. You had so gigs. You were, yeah, you had gigs. Yeah, but it's not like a huge shift. You oh, sure? Well, some of us it is. That's what I'm saying for me. Mm-hmm. I said for me, this is nothing new. I've been quarantining for a while. so It was not quarantining, there was limited movement. Call it what you want. It was circumstantial because it was not by it was not by choice. It wasn't by choice. Yes. So yeah. if you had to move, you could move. When last did you go to Soweto? Ah, it's and, been you, a while. and you you'd go to Soweto at the drop of a hat. Yeah. Yes. So you're not going to Soweto. But that's not a drastic thing. It's, going to Soweto doesn't make me or break me. <laughs> <laughs> Just like not wearing underwear will not make you or break you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anyway, uh, yeah. Before we start, man, remember I said 36,000. I was going to tell you what Ricky Rick Thank said. Thank you. So let me start with that. Ne? Mm-hmm. So Ricky Ricky called me uh, last week. Uh, the day we shot the... the Katsande and oh yes, yes. <laughs> episode yes. and Doctor Bella. Yeah, yeah. Doctor Bella. Have you seen that Ooh, episode? It was wretched. No. It hey, was, you gotta it check Ooh. it. <laughs> it was lit. Ooh. We went live because you've been live on the podcast, but we hadn't. So we went live, me and Ghost Lady, for the first mm-hmm. time. Oh. It was uh, it so was a nice. Do it alone, <laughs> Marlon. Ali, it's like a team. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, it wouldn't be. F- I agree. You were quarantining when you were on lockdown. No, 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 no. You don't get what I'm saying. I had to do it 
Kele wanu, you didn't do it alone. You had to get somebody to hold your hand. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, do you want the ghost lady to hold your hand? No, it's fine. No. So then if it's fine, what was, what was the discussion? <laughs> I was just asking. No, maybe, maybe it was my life, but I couldn't, it couldn't really be <laughs> good to have to say with a black screen. So I needed him to hold my hand. So let's look at it from that person. I needed him to hold yeah, my hand. Yeah, it was ghost lady. You could have asked him to hold your hand. I asked. No, I didn't. <laughs> we, we, we did one today, the Africa Day one. Yes. Um, the, the, the Africa Day we you shot did today. Yeah, you shot together. But, but you, I just, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where was I? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Ricky Rick. Yeah, so he's like, yo, man, I just recently saw uh, your reaction to the interview we did. Um because he saw what I, what, I, what I thought about the interview on YouTube. It's like, no, man, I was just calling to clear the air. Like, um, uh, I, I, I don't want it to seem like I'm disrespecting your platform in any, any kind of way. Like, usually when I do interviews, I don't do PR answers. But what had happened is that the time when you were doing the interview, it was leading up to Cotton Fest. And I expected a certain type of interview. Hence, I did yours because it's on YouTube and, you know, you can be free and whatever. And I was turning down a lot of interviews at the time. But because of yours, I was like, let me do it. And I was expecting uh, the conversation will be about that. So Cotton when, Fest. Yeah. So okay. when I started the interview and I was talking about like AKA and Zintle and stuff like that, it threw him off guard, you know? And then from there, he became disinterested in the interview. So that's what he was saying. He was saying, no, listen, he apologizes if it came across a certain way. And, you know, he, he respects the platform. And, and, and he, he just wasn't in the right frame of mind when we started shooting because he wasn't expecting those questions. He was expecting something else. And mm. he was like, you know, uh, it's not my fault. It's not his fault either because we didn't have a prior conversation Shen before of exactly of the interview to happen. say, okay, cool, we're going to chop it up like one, two, three. And I was like, fuck. When did he apologize? Last week. I was like, fuck, He's Rick. been doing a lot of those recently. I'm like, Ricky, Rick is apologizing shit. <laughs> this is dope. Mama, I made it. <laughs> <laughs> But what a cool guy, bro. Oh, nice. Are you also wearing bootleg pants? <laughs> Jeans. I might as well apologize. I mean, I've got a farm, so I might as well. <laughs> <laughs> but I was just like, he was like, in that moment, we didn't speak for long, for maybe about five, ten minutes, but in that moment, he was really genuine. And I was like, wow, this is such a cool guy. Because most people that I interview, especially celebs, after the interview, they never even care, you know? Yeah. Some of them hardly even post the interview. Yeah. So for him to take time out of his schedule and call, because I, th- I believe he called you to get my number. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah, I was like, fuck, this is a stand up guy. Wow. Yeah. So I'm a Ricky fan now. I'm buying all his albums. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also a Ricky fan. Ah, no, I love him. Love I him. I love Ricky. Ricky's my Yay. nigga. My nigga. Thank you, Ricky. I got for him on speed call. dial. <laughs> oh, he's got me on speed dial. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's got the ghost lady on speed dial. <laughs> So shout out to Ricky, man. Not a lot of people would do that. Most nice. other people would probably go like, ah, fuck this guy. Yeah, yeah. You know? Actually, that was big of him. Yeah. Like, this is like two months later. We even had forgotten about the interview, you yeah. know? So, yeah. thank you for that. Yeah. Ricky. Uh, anyway, what else did I want to talk about? Oh, did you guys see the Joe Rogan deal? Mm. Spotify. Yeah. I think I, I didn't look into it. Mm. I, I just saw that he's exclusively with Spotify because YouTube has been putting a lot of... What do you call it? There's been a lot of... It says I've become dumb. Uh, when you... When you... When you, you know? When you <laughs> close the tabs on somebody to say certain things and... Exclusive? No, Spotify paid him or is paying him a shitload of money to do what he does in some sort of like an exclusive deal. Yeah. So you're uh, saying YouTube is censoring him? There we oh, go. Okay. Censorship. Oh, okay. Yeah. YouTube. That's what I read. Oh. No, not at all. Not at all. So what's happening is that Spotify licensed his show for three years and the contract is $100 million. Ooh. $100 million. That's good for him. That's not a lot of money, actually, for that podcast, because that podcast is the biggest in the world. Yeah, that, that podcast huge. is huge. And if you look at someone oh. like Howard Stern, he's getting paid $100 million a year for his radio show. $100 million a year. A year. But then Joe Rogan is getting $100, $100 million, million for three years. For three years, okay. Yeah, yeah. But it's, it's, it's still a good deal. It's still a good deal. Because it yeah. takes... Because uh, a lot of money is being invested into podcasts yeah. uh, worldwide. 
uh, I don't know in SA though, but yeah, I know America, like they're pumping a shitload oh, of money into yeah. podcasts. Yeah. Spotify is trying to own, you know, all the podcasts. All the podcasts. You know, like Mambala Noise when it came out. <laughs> <laughs> They were just signing everybody. <laughs> yeah. Look at them now. Yeah. So I can't wait until we get a deal like that. Ooh. Maybe on, on Fagasa or something. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that free? <laughs> Fagasa. Oh my God. Like, eh? From Spotify to Fagasa. <laughs> wow. Fagasa can license us. <laughs> can I watch the Jay-Z platform? Uh, Tidal. Uh, Tidal. Okay. Yeah. But they're not big on podcasts, right? No, no, no. no. no they just do they even do any. I don't know, but I think they focus more, mainly on music. Yeah. Ah. yeah. And all podcasts I've listened to, I've never heard them mention Tidal, like being available on Tidal. But it's so exciting to see the podcast space is growing, especially yeah. in the country as well. Yeah. Every single day on my timeline is a new podcast. Ish. But we're number one, baby! <laughs> we stay number one. Because yeah. people have nothing to do, Muna. Podcasts are the new Instagram live. Instagram live on new podcast. Yeah. Whichever one. Hey, the Instagram lives will expose you if you're a celeb. How so? So, for example, if you have a million followers and you go on a live and you only hit 100 numbers. Mm. But you see... Um, That's bad. Mm. So, so you see what the thing with that is, which is what I've noticed, uh, especially when my job is concerned. If you post something, right, and it doesn't hit... Because usually if you've got a million followers, whatever you post... Depending on who you are and depending on what it is, especially on Instagram, if you don't get likes that are at least 10% of your following, then your numbers are not genuine Mm. Mm. or your following is not genuine. Mm. But that's always known that people just, they buy followers. Not even that. Uh, I know this one was trying to buy followers at some point in his life, but that mission failed. How are you going to do that? When Twitter was allowing people to buy followers. Oh. Before they stopped it. Oh. Yes. I was trying to buy. Yes. I don't remember that. There's a lot of things that you try to buy, but I'm not going to mention all of them. <laughs> yeah, We've then. got time. <laughs> <laughs> We've got time. We just came back. <laughs> we want to know. <laughs> no, it's okay. <laughs> and then. Ah. <laughs> so, wow. <laughs> so. He's being censored. <laughs> <laughs> by you. Please release him. Please. <laughs> Take me to Spotify. <laughs> so it's 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 just it's it's watered down. Why did I want to buy Twitter followers? That remember. doesn't sound like me, dude. It was. Hey, ah, wrong guy, bro. <laughs> it is you, chief. You Twitter. Even, you even showed me how to buy followers. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> <laughs> wrong guy. <laughs> remember when you had like my five thousand? You wanted to go to. <laughs> Okay, how many does he have now? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> how many did you buy? <laughs> ah, I didn't buy. I've never bought followers, dog. <laughs> this fucking guy. You know, so like, yeah. But Jerry, going back to the Instagram thing, it's 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 genuinely like bad. What what you tend to get is <coughs> if a celebrity had to post something about, hey, I'm gonna be on podcast and show. They've got a million followers. They'd probably hit like what five thousand likes type of thing. But if they post with Without underwear, they're going to hit a million. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's, I, 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 it's, I think it's an interesting thing. Like, honestly, if when things are deep, once I'm like, yeah, no, I think uh, my life is becoming what, 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 what. People are not really interested. When you post naked, people are interested. When you buy a car, people are interested. When uh, Let's just pause there. Let me put in the bedroom. When you divorce, people are interested. <laughs> Pause, ne? We've paused. Yes, yes. Okay. Sir. It's. Yeah. So it's 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 a whole thing that uh, when it's interest, ne? On some like if 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 a celebrity posts, mm-hmm. what's wrong, ghost lady? It's okay. Continue. Okay. If you post something deep, like yeah, you know. With God, everything is possible. Um, 2,000 people will entertain you if you're like, sitting on a mill of 500,000. Yeah. If you buy a car or something drastic happens in your life, that 2,000 probably become 10, 15, maybe 20,000. Uh, if you're a female and you post 
a half naked picture or you're a guy you're showing your six pack maybe that 20,000 or yeah. 30,000 becomes like 100,000 and you're right because I remember when uh, when AK was busy fighting and shitting on everybody when you'd post like check out my song it would have like 20 retweets mm. and then when it was shitting on Cizwe or Casper or whoever it would have like a thousand mm. five thousand retweets mm. oh. you know yeah. So I think social media is the empire of the sheep. Yeah. Whereby you do something. Back at it again with them deep lines. Let <laughs> me <laughs> Empire of the sheep. Morgan, lock down. No, that's Togi. That's, that's, to, that's Togi T's album. Yeah. You know what else I realized uh, during this lockdown? Eh? Um, because there's some people, like, if we were to stop the world right now, and said the world started at lockdown. Yeah. So if the world started at lockdown and it ends now, how many celebrities would you say have been relevant during this short time? So I'm, forget about what they've done before, all the accolades they've done, but who has been relevant since lockdown? So whatever they did before lockdown, if it spilled into lockdown, does it count? Yeah, if you want to get technical, yeah. Okay. Uh, Nesty doing signing with Def Jam or then Def Jam Nesty announcement. Oh, and Boyd as well. Big shout out and to Boyd. Boyd man. Mm. One love. Uh, but now when these celebs sign things, they must show us the receipts. The just, yeah. now, just now Def Jam owns uh, her social media handles or they own her house. Exactly. <laughs> and her <laughs> cars. Then, then years later, they are coming to complain. Like, you did not share Actually, that. Actually, yes. maybe the deal could be like, yo, we're signing you on a social media basis. Yeah. Not you know for I mean? your raps. Yeah, yeah. Because oh. Def Jam is like an entire corporation that like they deal with sports management. In, in So maybe they also into social media influencing. We don't know. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, after the That's Reebok true. thing, I think we all need to know what these people are signing so we can be happy or be like, ah, but chief, yeah. did you read so clause? can advise you. <laughs> <laughs> As a nation, before we cry with you, let's also advise you. <laughs> AKA? Yes. Definitely AKA. <laughs> Shimza. Shimza. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, Shimza. Yeah. Black Coffee. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. For the right reasons, which is great. Because if, if you notice during this lockdown, how you get relevant is by saying something stupid or doing something stupid. Mm. Mm. And then you get those who actually did. So it brings me to my point. Like, if you're not willing, if you're a celeb right now and you're not willing to say something stupid or do something stupid. Like your ex. Who's my ex now? Why, why, why drinking, are you coming up with files, dog? Drinking and driving. <laughs> Wasn't she naked on Instagram the other day oh, she on a live? Was she? Yes. Kanye? Yes. You lie. I kid you not. Is it Kanye? Yes. You lie. Yeah, you wouldn't have seen anything you don't know, but like, you know what I'm saying? Eh. You see, you see the <laughs> things people are doing. <laughs> Just to try. But did she stay relevant though? Was it a mistake or was it like... No, I would have seen if Kanye was naked. Was it... What? There was a video. I swear I saw a video of her. I think she was with Duma, with Ntando, Duma. They Duma. were both naked. And no, no, not mm. both. Oh. I think it was her who went naked or something like that. Mm. Um, and then those guys who always paying girls to twerk and give them 2,000 every time. I've got their names. There's a whole lot of them have been coming out. But, yeah. you, but you must stop calling him my ex, dog. You make it sound like we dated, dog. But that's what you said. <laughs> no, we're just, just vibing for the night, dog. Oh. <laughs> we're vibing for the night. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> There's a difference, G. I get I'm trying to increase your status. <laughs> you're going to buy flow- followers for you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting him followers for free. He's out here trying to kill that steez. You know, um, yeah. who else? Uh, the Ferguson's again, but it was obviously for the wrong reasons. Mm. Um, Balula for the right and the wrong reasons. So the reason why I was asking that, no, I want to find out from you guys. Do you think that's because the people that were so-called influencers or celebrities um, before lockdown were thriving off artificial shit? Like they were thriving off, I don't know, materialistic things. To, 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 so they didn't have any substance in what they were famous for. And now lockdown, you have to be bare to the bone. No underwear. 
<laughs> like, like you have to take a live without makeup. You know uh, what I mean? Uh. And before, you know, you get those Instagram girls that have to do the makeup thing. They have to pose in front of the G63 or go to Dubai. Mm. Or they, they need materialistic things to influence. Yes, yes, yes. So now when those things are stripped away. They're with, naked. Eh? They're naked. <laughs> with no clothes. <laughs> if I get it, if, and underwear. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say though? I yeah, it. it's 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 how can I put it? That's why like DJs are are are, are excelling right now because those are people that are really have a talent. You know, some of them. The that Netflix was, show, the Blood and Water. Yeah, you know, content is. But that was obviously shot before. before. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, yeah. Um, for me, YouTube if, is if, booming. If, yeah. if if anybody, if anybody, literally, I feel like if anybody showed. That they are cre- a creative during lockdown, you can bring a list of all of them. There's nobody who's done it better than Stogie T. Yeah, no one. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah. He showed yeah, yeah. his true talent. Yeah, and yeah, like you, yo, 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 those. But those. that's what I'm saying, dog. Like whether you're a DJ or an MC, the people that have real talent are thriving yeah. during this time. And what I love is he actually brought out a lot of rappers who were able to do things. Naked, <laughs> but in them being naked, the art form preceded them more than the superficial things. So we loved. I mean, I was very excited when I saw him fetching tabs on one of uh, Stogie T's thing, and Tabs was a dope rapper. Like he was about content. Yeah. And unfortunately, what happened was rap became about. I got 10 bitches in the swimming pool uh, and a Rolls Royce outside. I remember but Tabs, yeah. Tabs was not about that. Yeah, mm. yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So the question then becomes, are you an influencer if you can't influence now? Kind of what did Michali do? She was also... Look, I feel like if you were on the full list since lockdown started... Like Mang Mang must fall. Yes, if you were if you were on that list, you know, it means that you were not necessarily you didn't have substance. No. I'm Isn't th- that just black no, Twitter man, pulling? That's just black Twitter oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But most of that happened or well the bulk of that happened because of people who were doing stupid things. Yeah, but th- we spoke about that. That unless yes. you're doing stupid things or saying stupid things, you're not gonna trend. So But if you don't have the the G sixty three the G63 to pose next to or the bikini in the swimming pool, you go say something stupid so that you become relevant. That's what I'm trying to say. We we saying the same thing. Yes. Mm-hmm. So those, My G. <laughs> so those people are on the Wagon. same. I feel like they are, they, they, the, 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 the falling people, some but of them. But you're not answering the question. If you can't influence right now during this time as a celebrity or you're, uh, you call yourself an influencer, are you really an influencer if you can't do it now? Yes, you are. You are still an influencer, but it's just that, but your influence is only promoted by a certain product or something that you are affiliated how's that, to. How's that an influencer then? So are you like, are you... What are the you, fuck are you influencing? Wait, sorry. That sounds like a billboard. <laughs> but if you, your influence Yeah, but is, if there's no people driving on the road to see the billboard... Uh, then the billboard is useless. It yes. doesn't mean a billboard does, is not effective when people are driving on the road. Ah, yes, you're a yeah, billboard. Yeah, you guys are missing it. Mm. No, I'm just saying, if, I, if, if I'm it. known for dancing in the club and that, inf- that, that influences people to come to the club, if but you're unfortunately... Known, if, if you're known for dancing in the club, yes. you do what Tumi Siko did. Yes. You do uh, 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 in G- at G Live, everybody's twerking. That's influence. So what I'm saying is, right now, if you call yourself an influencer and you haven't done shit, oh. can you really call yourself that? Okay, you're a former influencer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. You see, Stoji T is a yeah. rapper, MC. Mm-hmm. What has he done? He's influenced other yes. MCs by Freestyle Fridays, yeah. being creative. Because he's got substance. Yes. So yeah. now, if I'm a rapper and I used to rap about bitches and... Mm-hmm. Rolls Royces, yeah. those are gone now. What do I have? You've got nothing. You've got got nothing. So you can't influence bitches you... and Rolls Royces. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> and it's not the same. It's not the same. No, I just, I guess I get what you mean, Mac G, is that at the end of the day, you have to, if you are able to use your talents to advantage during this lockdown, that just shows some rawness. No. But if you're unable to, then maybe it's your, 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 your influence and your superstardom is actually 
can be questioned. So is a bill, so is a billboard not influential? No, for, forget about the billboard, man. So forget you use the, the you use a stupid example. No, it was just the first thing that came into mind. Um, a C collab. Oh, you finally saw one. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm saying is, look, uh, it 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 if. My craft is to be half naked in Dubai. There's no Dubai. I can be half naked, but will I have the same impact if I'm not in Dubai? Maybe not. I need Dubai to... It, it forms part of my... What do you call it? Uh, yeah, it, it forms part of my influence of my power. If podcast and chill is proper and has a good look and feel to it, if it's done live like we're doing now... Versus when we're doing it on Zoom because it just lacks a certain thing. It's because the elements that we have that allow us to do it live are not there. Yes, we're trying to do it so that we can supplement, but it's not the same. Speaking about influence, uh, guess what happened to the mixer? Which mixer? It was what by an influencer? <laughs> we got a mixer? No, remember the mixer I wanted to get? Yeah. So I finally got some money because uh-huh. I've been saving. Okay. And then I called my supplier. I'm like, yo, I need that mixer. He's like, yo, dude, I just sold the last three this week. Oh. I'm like, to who? YFM. Oh. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't have any more. It doesn't have any more. I have to wait until end of June. Oh, man. Yeah. I wonder why YFM are buying podcast mixers. They're probably starting podcasts. Maybe they're going to start a podcast. Influence. Yeah. <laughs> By <Bicycle> mix- collab. <laughs> <laughs> No, but they've been doing good, though. I must say, out of all the radio stations, they've been doing very well during lockdown. Yeah. Uh, well, not only during lockdown. I see, like, because they have substance. Most of the shows <laughs> are trending uh, every day. It's not about substance, man. <laughs> it's not about substance. Ish. But yeah. You know on the t- on the on the Twitter debate, black Twitter debate, like when you were saying, if anyone was on, hey, they must hey, fall. Because hey, lady, be careful. I know they mustn't come first. Let them come. And then <laughs> let them. Have come. you ever been dragged by black Twitter? I get dragged every day. You, you not it? by black Twitter, dog. Uh, yes, sis. Okay, mixed race Twitter. Hey. But I get dragged. There was this tweet now, that happened over the weekend. Did you see from Nandi Matita? About. Not doing shit in your twenties, and then if you get to thirty and you haven't done shit, you are shit. Something along those lines. Okay. It had to do with timelines and doing certain things at a certain age. Okay, can I read it? Can I read it? No. You may yes. I always say this to young people who work in my company: the ages eighteen to twenty-five years are so critical. If you waste that time being a rebel, wasting your parents' money, being cool, hanging around the wrong circles, etc. You waste so much time, and before you know it, you are 30 with nothing to show for your life. Now beats Black Twitter. I'm 35. I don't have anything to show for. It's life. These things happen. What do you have to show for your life? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a podcast, at least. What else? This is how I understood it. Oh, and a it. son, at least. No, this is how I understood it, right? And I think it was by... Uh, all the people, Black Twitter now, who just went all hammock on her. I take it as this show is just trying to because ex- uh, the key word there is rebel. You know how you get you get the stage of adolescent, that's your teens. Then you get after metric or your schools, and when you're trying to advise, I think I, 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 I take it back to you know how we've got family members, like you know, in a family, there's someone you're trying to advise. And they're like just a rebel. Like, do that. This is how, okay, get a job or do this. And it's like they just never want to take that. And then before you know it, they've grown up and now they're becoming regretful. That's what I, it's not about there's a timeline or where you have to be, get, get married or have a kid. I don't see it as that. It's just about being responsible. I don't know. Do you guys see it as, was it offensive? To be honest, I don't really care about that, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Why you talking? I'm like, what the fuck is she talking about? No, <laughs> being responsible. Being oh, responsible. Okay, okay. Let me be. Let me be one with you. Let me listen. Now. So mm-hmm. what's what's wrong? So what's wrong is being 
in the 20s and 30s, what's going on? No, there's nothing Being wrong. Being a rebel. For me, I think I was just against how Twitter came on for her, like because it became a whole Nandi must fall. Okay, what this. did Nandi say? This, the tweets I just read. She said, it's nice. You must enjoy your life between your tinnies and things. No. <laughs> she just said, you can enjoy it, but don't waste it. Yeah, don't oh, waste don't it. Oh, don't waste it. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then what's it, Black Twitter saying? Black Twitter was like, no, you're putting... Um, the She's talking whole, from a point of privilege. It, you yes. What, what? And <laughs> now you want to say, give people timelines, like you need to be married at this time or have a child at this time. So and I don't think it had nothing to do with putting those timelines. It just goes back to... Be responsible with your life. I think Black Twitter are the rebels that she's yes, talking about. Exactly. Good point. What? They're 25 at home and tweeting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you know. agreeing with me like you're scared to agree with me? No, I'm just saying I don't understand why anyone would have an issue with what she's saying, bro. Like, hey? Huh? Yeah? We're so dark. Oh, we're so dark. <laughs> ah, we don't have tabang here, but it's fine. At least you can hear us. Uh huh. Yeah. This is after Even dark. Me. After <laughs> dark. Podcast and chill after dark. <laughs> mm, okay. You got some melanin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap it up, Ben. Um, what else am I missing? What else did you want to talk oh, about? I don't know. Uh, what else did you want to talk about? Oh, I'm, 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 I'm annoyed that we can't smoke anymore. Oh, we can't smoke for the next, I don't know how long. That's pissing me off. But at least alcohol is back. Not oh, that yeah. I ever missed it, but. You'll get cigarettes when, you, when clubs open. <laughs> I think those are only going to open in December. Eh? <laughs> yeah. I don't see clubs opening opening anytime soon. Uh. I swear to you. Oh, that reminds me. Did you see that tweet, uh, Prince KB? Mm. Uh, he tweeted um, that about DJs. free DJs. Hmm? About DJs playing for free so, on yes, the lockdown thing. Yes, uh. yes. Let me let me find it. So out. DJs play for free there, basically. They don't get paid. Well, Shimza got paid four hundred k. Shims and PH. Did he show you the, and the and e wallet? And then... Did you see how he mized at me, And then they didn't pay the DJs because it's so-called exposure. Ah, you mean all those guys are playing for exposure? Mm. Oh, that is not nice. We're doing the podcast for exposure. What do you mean? <laughs> it's a podcast. It's something new. Right. DJing, they've been... De- uh, expo- uh, Prince KV said, stop doing those live DJ sets on TV for free. Uh, and then Euphonic said, Prince, with respect, you're the same guy who took part for free in a 13-week TV competition for DJs. You're way too popular and influential to not help other people grow. Why must they not do it? What lessons can you teach besides a loose comment? Angelui, teach us. And then Prince KB says, Hosh Euphonic, the DJ live sets on TV are AFPs, advertiser-funded programming. Sponsors pay per episode. Does it make sense to pay for studio crew, catering lights, broadcast signal, camera operators, and not pay DJs? While there are three sponsors plus channel budget. Akiloani. It's nice to see people having a civilized conversation. Mm, mm. It's, it's euphonic and KB. <laughs> Let's compare apples with apples. Ones and twos is a competition show. You know, coming from the door, it's either you win the cash prize or nothing it was commissioned by the channel with no sponsor and, and its mandate was not to make money but expose new talent stop the loose mindset yeah hmm. that way continue. Continue. yeah that's when you continue. yeah but i feel kb has a point yeah. uh a very good point very good yeah and i don't know if euphonic was asking in order to get kb to be more elaborative But in him asking, he allowed KB to be more elaborative. Because upon seeing that, you would have just saw it maybe the way Euphonic saw it and thought, no, KB, you are just being a loose cannon saying nonsense. Mm. But maybe the people did not know that there was a, it was a AFP type Mm. of thing, you know? And what exposure are you going to give his ex? Because she's popular already. Exactly. That's where I'm coming from. This were not, it's not like these were DJs who, it's like DJ goes Lady Nyana so, so people can book me. No, already these mm. guys are struggling. They're not getting bookings. So you mean they are get, so they can be exposed for what? Who's going to book them? Because there's no parties out there. So are they, are they, I think that they are trying to do this to actually just get something. They, they, they're both right in a sense that KB is right. But I think what KB is saying only applies for well-established DJs because DJs a lot of DJs unknown DJs play for free for um, for a ride for 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 um, exposure 
<laughs> wow. A lot of DJs. No, he DJ. gets paid and there's a writer that comes with it. No, I was not talking about him. <laughs> no, not about him. I'm just saying for a writer. Just so there's a lot of DJs that actually do play, like, for example, give me a big festival. Durban July. So if you know Durban July, there's going to be X amount of people. You're going to get X amount of exposure. As an unknown DJ, you likely will take the gig even if you're not getting paid. Those many mores, when you see a flyer, many more is likely not getting paid. You know? Mm. Sometimes. I mean, if, if Coachella hit me up now and they said, yo, would you want to come DJ for free there? Fuck yeah. Yo, yeah. The exposure I'm going to get. Yeah. But then... And you won't if, have to buy followers. <laughs> but if you're euphonic, it doesn't make sense. Because you already have the exposure. If you KB, if you coffee, if you yeah. are Shimza. And you're not getting paid. It doesn't make sense. So that's what I'm saying. I, I agree with what they both say. No. But you know what? I was listening to um, the conversation between Oskido and um, Black Coffee when they were on the live. And... When you go live, ne? Hey. It's a party. Yo. And then, but they, they said something why I think Euphonic would be so defensive. Because apparently, Euphonic is, you know now he's like, he's always overseas. What he gets paid today is like literally peanuts compared to what he gets paid when he's this side, you know. But he's obviously what? Trying to build his brand, trying to build himself. Hence the whole, now he's no longer Euphonic, he's Temba, you know. So that's what it's, it's like, if people were to know how much this guy would be, he was getting overseas like right now Temba needs exposure yes Euphonic doesn't yeah but, but I'm just saying that's why I think that's why he could take this the stance of being so defensive and um, saying no people could, could end up not getting paid who was apparently his Temba is, get, is playing out there overseas and not getting paid yeah allegedly we don't know that eh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no the way Oskido oh, ends it. and <laughs> But Temba's, Temba's presenting the housing thing, house metas or what, what those that show on, 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 on the channels, they're giving you advice about property and stuff. So, like, he's getting, Temba's got, I think Temba's a businessman, Euphonic is a DJ. No, definitely. But we're just talking about DJing right now. Yeah, so. Hey, as you took an offer, you know. <laughs> no, 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 I'm just going back to the whole Temba needs exposure. Yeah. Yes, as a as a businessman, probably I don't know, but Euphonic is very well known. Yes, when no, you, we talk about Temba, or in Europe. In Europe. Also, when he so plays Temba in Europe, Europe, he's Temba. Yes, oh. and he plays for free. <laughs> no, <laughs> for a rider. <laughs> for a rider. <laughs> Go all the way to Ibiza for a six pack of Corona. <laughs> wow. And a match. <laughs> <laughs> You guys are foul. What up? It's like, it's fine. Maybe we should do a gig and give him a ride of our own. But you know what I think would help to uh, make sure DJs are getting paid? Because every time I go on my timeline, there's a DJ mixing there. I think we need a, a, our own platform, like a YouTube OnlyFans, but for DJs. Hmm. A what? Like YouTube. You see YouTube? We you know blown. OnlyFans, Lynn? Yes, I do. Oh. Yeah. So like YouTube. I'm not subscribed to any account though. Okay. Like YouTube only fans, you upload your content, and then after a certain amount that you reach, you get you can monetize. So we need a platform like that where DJs can upload their mixes, get their followers to follow, mm-hmm. and then after let's say you have a thousand subscribers, you can then monetize. I think the podcast mm. base is like we can sit and record for an hour thirty minutes. Just do a mix and start your own podcast. I know Mapiano has a lot of podcasts that you can find on different platforms. Yeah, but they're mm. not monetizable. That's what I'm saying. We need a YouTube or uh, uh, OnlyFans where, as a DJ, you can upload your mix and get paid for it. Can't you go on OnlyFans and upload your mix as a DJ? You can if you have fa- if you have subscribers. Yeah. Yes. So they can just there's an existing platform. Just use it. Yeah, but we need our own local chief. We need our own. Do you know how many DJs that they say they can go to Fakas? I guess. Are we that dark ghost lady? Are we that dark? Mm. Ah, shit. I think you are. Yeah. Because I saw this, you've got a shadow like in front of, the minute you face forward, yeah. you're, you're like heavy, heavy dent. Like half her face <laughs> you is look now. <laughs> This motherfucker. <laughs> 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 no, but it's fine. I mean, they'll understand. It's our first time back. Yeah. Uh, Tabang's not here. Where is Tabang? Uh, I couldn't pick him up. He's still at home. Oh. Oh, oh not permit. Huh? I've oh, got a permit. Um, but your permit doesn't take you to Tabang's house. It does. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so yeah, uh, that's a wrap. Um, 
What else am I missing? Anything else that I'm missing goes late. What are you missing? I want to smoke. So I want to smoke. Don't you have cigarettes? I need to smoke. I haven't smoked in like two days. Oh yeah, I wanted to ask you, what are you guys going to buy first when uh, level three is imposed on us? Hey, I, to- I told you what I'm going to do, but it's a secret. I don't want all now the chillers <laughs> doing the same thing I'm going to do. She's got a whole operation. Operation tops. <laughs> <laughs> Her operation is probably the same as mine. Mm. What's yours? Let me hear yours. Uh, the amount of alcohol that I need to buy has to last me for at least two months. Two months? Mm-hmm. And I'm not going to go... If they do the whole surname thing, but they didn't mention it... Do you believe that thing, though? Uh, it, was, it was proposed. I don't yeah. know if it's going to happen. But if it doesn't happen, I'm going to go to the road less traveled and I've identified four. Because I'm not in a, I'm not about to wait in a queue to buy alcohol. Yes. It's gonna be a mess, and also I want to look after myself. So I need to buy a, two cases of wine, one red, one white. Uh, I need to buy three bottles of God's juice. Okay, let me hold yeah. you right there. Go mm-hmm. slay, dude. Uh, we, we we've got a very special announcement we need to make. No, we have a guest. Yes. To be introduced. Yes. In addition to the family. Oh. Yes. Oh. So while yes. we were busy reflecting, uh-huh. somebody else was busy doing other things yes. during the lockdown. What? I'm excited. This is like the biggest announcement we've made on the podcast, right? Since we said Henda. <laughs> oh, we are here. Oh, we are back. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. Uh-huh. Uh, chillers and other chillers. Friends, and romance, countrymen. Yes. <laughs> lend us your ears. Yes. More than anything, lend us your mouth and your tongues Throats. and your throats. <laughs> Please welcome a new addition to the family. We Ooh. have started our own gin brand. Oh. <laughs> and the bottle appears. Yes. Yes. Let's get the I don't know if you can see because it's in the dark, but there we go. Grand year, baby. It's, it's white. Yeah, we're living that grandeur lifestyle, baby. It's the bottle gym. is the bottle is empty, by the way. So don't go, don't get excited. No, no. What's wrong with it being full? Eh? Ah, we can't. We stock. They said we can't drink. Yeah, where are you stocking? Oh, okay. <laughs> it's an empty bottle. Ah, uh, <laughs> man, we've been working on this. How long have we been working on this? I thing? should be modeling the bottle. Like I should be here in the swimming pool. My... Come influence it there in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> oh we'll shit! No, don't because you don't have underwear on. Hey! Um, uh, Oxala, you are naked and you need our clothes. We've been working on this for like two years. 2018. Uh, almost around the same time that the podcast started, actually. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and finally, like when we wanted to uh, launch it before lockdown. Uh, but obviously, lockdown, lockdown happened. happened. So now, because we're going to level three, we can announce that we have our own gin brand. It will be for sale to all the chillers out there. Wow. Uh, we've only got 300 bottles, ne? Yeah, 300 bottles. So we're only selling wow. pre-orders right now. Okay. And uh, yeah, we've got 300 bottles. Mm. Uh, just to explain like how it started... Um, because we love alcohol so much, we decided to make our own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are there with pineapple. <laughs> <laughs> a lot can happen when you're messing around with sanitizer at home. Um, and pineapple. And pineapple <laughs> and all and of that yeast. nonsense because <laughs> bottle stores are closed. But I'm kidding. No, I'm kidding. That, 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 the concept and the work behind it started long before we could even think about COVID-19 or a virus that could Keep us on lockdown. Mm. Yeah, we're still mm. mid red in my house. Lane yeah. came up with the name actually, Grandeur. Oh, Grandeur. We live in that Grandeur lifestyle. Oh, by Ta-ta. the uh, thingy, by, by the, the bench, by the bench. Yes. Guys, I'm a big fan of the gym, so yeah, you must so, know. This has been like the best kept secret because we've been wanting to say it <laughs> almost every single episode <laughs> for two years. <laughs> One day, <laughs> the real story behind the gym will actually tell it. Yes, because yes, yes, there's, there's a, a story, story behind crazy this story. There's a sto- crazy. like when I you say story, it? like some Netflix shit, bro. Whoa, like some Netflix shit. This this, this puts alcohol on blood and water. Type <laughs> <of> Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> But oh, we're just yeah. glad it is finally here. Make sure you get yourself the first ever 300 bottles. Of Limited Granger. edition. Limited, Limited edition. edition. We've yeah. only got 300 bottles. Uh, you can pre-order. Drop us a WhatsApp. Email. Fact, you know we'll how to pers- get hold of us. We'll personally sign the 300 bottles. Yeah. For you. Oh. Yeah. Yes. And we'll arrange for delivery. But yeah. Mm. I'm excited. We've been... Um, how many cases have we clapped in two years? <laughs> hey, it slaps, eh? No, it slaps. And this ain't no Reebok shit. <laughs> like we own everything the, the, the recipe we did ourselves 
imaging, the name, <laughs> the bottle, everything. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yes. The, so we're not just getting bottles. <laughs> <laughs> this is not just a ride, I know. <laughs> <laughs> so other DJs can come and play on the podcast and we'll give them a that as a ride. <laughs> <laughs> Done. So yeah, man. So if it stopped here. So yeah, just 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 in conclusion. Yeah. Um No, it's fine. I'll, we'll, I would I, I, I the chillers can also probably tell us if we had to give it as a gift to the first celebrity interview that we're going to do once level three and movement is sort of like a, is, is allowed. Yeah. Who, which celebrity would be best fitted to be amongst the first 300? We just want one. Yeah. And that celebrity will do an unboxing, ne? Yeah. Like when they receive they, they will drink it on the show. Remember the Dino Rakanaka interview? Rakanaka The first one. Yeah, I remember I told you she came to my house first. Yeah. And we we're meant to record, but we got drunk. We were drinking Grand Dieu. Oh. Hey, <laughs> Was I there? Hey. Yeah, you came later. <laughs> remember? Oh, yes, I was driving from Porsche. Yes, I came yeah. through. Yes, I remember. <laughs> and you couldn't even record. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was her. It was not us. Uh, you know, my husband is a big fan. Like, yeah. every time when you say, he's make, if I say, make cheese coming, he's like, make sure he comes with the cheese. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, pre orders open. Uh, drop your orders 081 or podcast at this McGee.com. Com. Make sure you are the part of the first 300 and we're taking it as, we're making a promise. The first 300 bottles will sign it for each and every chiller that orders. Yes. So dope. Uh, retail is 349.99. Nice. But for our chillers, we're going to make it 299. Ooh. The first 300. Special. 300 for 300. <laughs> Lockdown special. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, nice. Anyway, we are here. Ghost Lady, anything you want to say? Wrap it up. What do you want to say before we go? Just say thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Len? Continue to love. I want cigarettes, man. Fuck. Missed you, man. Dude, I really missed this dog. Like, I'm so glad we did it. Yeah. No, nah, it was cool. And you should stock up on two months worth of alcohol because I think we might go back to level four and five. Yeah. Given how the amount of people who are craving alcohol and want to buy it at normal prices trust me bottle stores are going to be a mess and guys chill us because we we love you or we love everybody but we love you more just make sure when you go out to the bottle stores you maintain to the social distancing yeah. wearing a mask sanitizing and or and, you can and, just and, buy and, all and, the 300 <laughs> grand jet bottles yes and you sort it until the rest of the year <laughs> <laughs> <Extra>. <laughs> that's an idea thank you stock so yes as of monday uh Pre-orders are open. Yes. But no, pre-orders are now. Yeah, yeah, you yes. can order right now. Yes, oh, you can order and then we'll deliver. Yeah, you can order right now. We'll deliver from next week. Yes. Yeah. Oh, on nice. Monday. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But yeah, on that note, thank you very much for this, guys. It's yeah. been interesting to see people. I yeah. really missed you guys, though. All right. We are here. Podcast and chill. Boom. Hey. You know it's off. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.